What's good YouTube, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about how I made £1,000 in 24 hours. So how did I make that? So let's go onto my screen and let's see how, what was the setups? I want to talk about the setups, I want to talk about my psychology, I want to talk about what made me enter these trades, how I entered them and just basically breakdown of how, what went through my mind when I was trading on this day. So let's get right into it so as you can see we're gonna first talk about GBP JPY one of the currency pairs that I've been trading for a while now and as you can see the week went through profit number one profit number two profit number three we were free for free unfortunately on Friday I hit a trade and I explain to you exactly what happened on Friday and what actually happened if you saw the vlog you would understand um, uh, exactly what went through but I'll explain it more in detail in this video but let's first talk about the first setup so over here what I saw so this was actually on the 19th of April so this wasn't the day where I made a thousand pounds but this was a very very good setup that I, uh, that I did this is the day over here on the 22nd of April this is where I made a thousand pounds as you can see we rode the whole downtrend all the way to my trend line and I explained to you exactly where I got this trend line and what these lines are, I'll explain to you um, exactly what I saw. So yeah, let's 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 have a look at the first trade. So as you can see on the four hour, you can clearly see that I entered. We hit 85. Was it 60? 64 pips. Okay, I hit 64 pips. And let's have a look. Uh, I can't remember exactly how the setup looked. But yeah, this is exactly what I saw. Okay, I remember this trade. This trade was actually. I can't remember, I think it was in the morning for us, or was it afternoon? It was actually in the afternoon, okay, yeah. So this is where I hit two trades, okay, this is this is where the big boy stuff. So this happened on, I think it was the Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember exactly where it was, but it was a Monday or Tuesday, and I had a £10 account, it was actually £13, I had a £13 account, and I, I, literally, I literally just thought, you know what, I'm gonna grow this account, so I grew this account. But anyways, I I saw a setup. I saw that it you know bounced off this this four hour support, and I thought you know what, it'll be a it'll be a nice trade. I just thought you know just saw indications where price was rejecting. I entered around over. Here. I think I entered I entered actually at this wick. I wasn't a uh, almost at a loss. Almost hit my stop loss. But as you see that bulls came in clutch at around 11 o'clock went all the way then I saw another setup it was like a little dip over here went for another buy and it just just went smash my take profit really it, it it smashed in I think it was lit it was 24 hours this was in 24 hours so I caught around uh, 85 plus 64 pips and I did put this in my telegram channel so people did make money off this I do remember uh, people sent me privately they did send me their profits but then this is where it comes to the next trade in the week I saw this beautiful trade um, again I saw a downtrend wanted to ride this downtrend I think if I look I don't really look in the one hour chart so yeah on the one hour chart you can see honestly just out of trading experience, I saw the downtrend, crossed over my moving average, broke out my moving average, and I traded this, went for a sell, to, to the support back. I honestly, this is where I thought, okay, price is, is broke out and is coming for a retest. That's honestly what I thought, and I thought, you know what, price is going to go back up from this. However, price did not do that. Price broke out of my uh, resistance that uh, was this resistance obviously is a support now so I broke out the support and turn into resistance so there's a breakout and retest and this is where I was like okay so this was actually in the, in the next day in the morning and I honestly thought that you know price will will go back up you have to adapt to the market this is where I always say you have to adapt to the market you have to understand that you you can have an idea but you got to remember that the idea might not work all the time and at this moment of time, I was like, yes, okay, you know, the GVJ per Y is going to go on uptrend. It's still on uptrend, as you can see. Sorry about that. As you can see, on the 4-hour, we were 
in that uptrend you know we were we were uptrend we're still on the uptrend with this uh trend line but this is where we're going to go on to where i made the big money thousand pounds and this is what this is what this setup i had multiple trades in it so it, is, it was only 100 pips okay 100 pips but i had multiple entries in this so multiple 0.2s multiple 0. Point, um i think i think it was all just 0.2s i had multiple uh, entries and i just rode it all the way to the bottom where my trend line was the reasons why i put my trend line here and i'll show you exactly we have this is how i work with trend lines i don't actually always trade with trend lines i normally trade with support and resistance but in this instance i had to i had to um how should i explain i had to look at this trend line because honestly i sent it to the telegram uh, channel i honestly thought that this was going to be a buy i even put it in the channel i said you know i'm going to buy this position it's going to ride up all the way to uh 153 around this area around here i said i'm very very confident because i thought you know it's coming for the retest and it's going to go all the way up but then i think after an hour I look back at the charts, I'm thinking, this doesn't look right to me. This this buy doesn't look like it, it was just consolidating. I was like, it doesn't look right to me. So later on in the evening, I go back in the Telegram channel and I'm like, you know, actually, I feel like this is a downwards push, retesting, and it's going to go back down to my support or actually my trend line. So I changed up the whole scenario. I said, sorry, guys, this is what I'm seeing. This is the setup I'm seeing. And I entered. I entered for a nice um, sell. And as you can see, if I go on 50 minutes, I only use a 4 hour and a 50 minute, if you guys realized. Uh, but as you can see, that night, <laughs> I did not sleep. So this is in the night time. So as you can see, we're at 9 o'clock, okay? Entered the trade around 9 o'clock. Um, came around to, one, you know, was in profit, came back up. I thought it was a consolidation. And then it broke out of that consolidation around 1.45. Now I'm on a friend with one of my I'm on a phone to one of my friends. I put him back onto trading. Shout out to Mazai, I'll put you back onto trading. And we're literally on message each other. We're saying, you know, we're on we're on, we're on a loss right now. I think I then at three o'clock I check again. I was still on a loss. I'm I'm not really sure about this trade. I was just I, I kept on saying to myself, you know what, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it because this is my trading plan. I'm risking 27 pips for 100 pips okay so i was like i'm gonna leave i'm gonna see i can afford to lose 24 27 pips i can afford that so i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna see how it goes then i sleep wake up in the morning around eight o'clock around that time and boom we're in profit okay uh as you can see we're in profit and eight o'clock we're in good profit i think i was on like 40 50 pounds profit now i was like cool i want to enter again so we come here now, I see this pull up, pull up, I entered here again, entered. I was like, and then again, in, in 15 minutes, again, push, push down, entry, entered again, I think over here. I had three entries in this trade, I think it was over here, I can't remember, it was somewhere around here, I had another entry. And then again, GJ wants to test my psychology, it wants to test my, um, my mindset this is where this is why i see that this is what i felt like gj was doing it was testing my mindset it was testing what i'm doing and it, and and pull back all the way back to this support now at this moment of time i'm messaging my friend and like you've seen the charts it's gone back up again and i, I told him you know just leave it don't worry about it what is gonna happen and at this moment of time i went and looked at gold i looked at the gold trade and i saw gold said i'm gonna show you a lot what gold setup I saw. I saw the gold setup. I went for the gold setup as well. High lot size. Used this profit that I made on the GJ. So I think around here was on fifty pounds profit. Used that profit. Went into the. Uh, so I haven't closed this trade yet, but I'm using that kind of profit and putting into gold. And then instantly started. You know, kick, it kicked in. Twelve o'clock kicked in. Went back down. Boom. Down. 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 And. At that moment, I was confident. I was like, "Yep, yeah, okay, this is this is the perfect trade. This is beautiful." Most of my friends saying, "You know, what? leave it. Let's hit. Let's wait for the take profit." Initially, I had my take profit all the way down to this support. Okay, but 
yeah once again i like i said i made this trend line while i was trading and i was like this this trend line this let's first go for this trend line. let's not be greedy let's actually you know i want to hit for the day and i came out of the day with 100 pips made almost i think 300 pounds off this gbpjpy trade which is great which is actually one of the best which is actually pretty good okay so going into gold now I saw this setup and I was like, yes, 100% I'm entering this trade. Reasons why I said that was because, um, if you want a four hour, I saw rejection in this trade. So I currently got another whole setup ready and I'll show you what I saw, but I didn't enter the trade, but I was really tempted to enter the trade. But I use my Fibonacci level again. If you have not seen my Fib extension video, make sure you watch this video. Make sure you watch that video and put it some. It will be up there. But um, it handled this level very, very well. It's 78.6 extension. It handled it very well. I thought, you know what, it's going to fly to 1800. But I knew how gold moves and especially these small wicks. I knew that we're going to see a little pullback. And then it's going to come back up again. So when I entered. Um, honestly I just saw the 4 hour. And I said I want to enter this trade. Saw a nice. I actually entered around here. Because I thought this was a pullback. I actually thought this red candlestick. Is going to be a nice drop. Obviously it still went up. Barely went to a loss though. Boom. Started pushing. Went back up again. I think I did more. I entered. I entered four times in this in this um, thing. So it went down, went back up. I said, you know, I'm gonna enter again. Entered again. Went down. Went back up. Entered again, and went back down. I think I've entered one more time around this area and rode it all the way to this. Uh, I don't think. I don't know why I put my take profit here. I think it was literally just. Yeah, I think it was just this lower low. I think that's what it was. I was just targeting that. I didn't want to target anything lower. And it worked out in my favor. I hit it. It hit the uh, take profit. I think overall that trade hit around 700 pounds, 700, pounds profit. And this happened so quickly. Honestly, that this, this trade happened very, very quickly. And I didn't, I was barely in a loss. And this actually helped me so much with my other trade with my psychology and everything. Next setup I saw that day. Honestly, I really wanted to trade this, but, but due to the losses I made and my rule, I stick to my rule. No matter what, I stick to my rules. When I've hit three losses or I've hit a loss that I feel like is greed trading, I do not trade. But I saw this setup and I was like, I'm 100% comfortable with this setup. I will definitely see it drop. It happened. I was proud of myself because at the end of the day, it's not about hitting profits sometimes. It's just letting your analysis work. When your analysis works, is one of the best things that you feel and i saw it i saw you know price went back to the 78 extension i said you know what price is going to drop and it did that instantly if i show on the 15 minute chart i saw that so price started to slowly slow down around here i was like price is going to drop it dropped i wish i was in this trade it's great that i wasn't though because you know it could have went left it could have went up and and made me lose a lot more money but very good trade honestly hit my um my 27 minus 27 extension which is a very very good as you can see over here very good trade would have loved to be in this trade but once again as you can see the fibonacci works okay the things i teach you guys is not fake it's not something that i'm you know it works once or twice this works on a regular basis okay this fibonacci works so make sure you understand how to use a fibonacci watch my video for the fibonacci and make sure you understand and i am going to have an academy where i'm going to break down how to trade gold and how to trade other currency pairs but honestly this has been a, a very very good week on trading i'll say very very good week and i hope next week for you all of you lot i hope next week will be a very very good trading week and yeah i just i hope you like enjoy this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next video